growing up, you know, I played a lot of sports and had a super competitive background. And I think that that is what led me to fishing competitively. I've always loved to fish, but as I got older and quit playing sports, that was an outlet that let me, you know, get that competitive side out there, you know, get that adrenaline going. You know, it's something that you can try and compete and be the best and something that it fuels the fire. And really, the more you do it, the more you want to keep going. Coming out of college, you know, I fished a couple semesters at University of Missouri, um, and I fished club tournaments and things like that at Lake of the Ozarks. I had been catching some fish, and I jumped into a BFL Super Tournament in the fall. I didn't really feel like I belonged there, you know, I was super new to the tournament world. I, I ended up getting 11th place, you know, I got a pretty good check, and that really opened the window for me. So, spring 2021, I did the same thing. I was gonna fish all the BFLs, I jumped into the spring Toyota series. That event, it was going to be super tough. I got on a pretty good bite and I remember sitting right here and telling Austin and Jada, I feel like I might be able to win this tournament right here. And that is no joke. I can look at the water right out this window and see, you know, some of the water I was fishing in that tournament. And I'd been on a super good pattern, a super good bite in practice. And I was fortunate enough to win that event. Fast forward to spring 2022, Again, we had a March tournament here at Lake of the Ozarks for the Toyota Series. Um, I caught a top 10 in that one. And then we went to Grand Lake, uh, had another good event, finished fourth. Uh, September rolls around, I ended up finishing fifth in a super challenging tournament at Truman Lake in the Toyota Series. He needs 11 eights, he's got the limits. Best bag of the week for you, he saved it for championship Saturday. 14 pounds, nine ounces. In the first place with 39 pounds and an ounce. Uh, and that solidified Angler of the Year for me. And, and that's what led me to the position I'm in now. You know, going out on the road next year and fishing the uh, Major League Fishing Invitationals. If I had to describe myself as an angler uh, in one word, I guess it's kind of two words, but I'd try to say well-rounded. In today's day and age, you can't be a specialist on the water. You have to be more of a generalist, and maybe that's the better word, is a generalist. Um, I try and, and you, you know learn and adapt to every technique out there so you can catch fish in, in any circumstance, in any scenario, no matter where you go. I have an unbelievable amount of support from my family and friends. Leaving home's not easy when you have two little kids and What's this? What? You know, that, that can be tough, but they all push me to, you know, they push me to keep going. And, and when you have that support and that type of backing, it makes it so much easier to go out there and chase your dreams. That's kind of my story. It's, uh, it's just kind of remarkable looking back how quick it happened. One thing led to another, that led to another, and then all of a sudden, bam, here I am, you know, going out on the road. And, I'm super thankful for it and it just, you know, it's, it's a dream come true.